Hello everyone. So before we begin, um, I just wanted to say I'm very sorry once again for leaving you for a long time. Um, I know it's been a month since my last ASMR video. Um, I don't intend to leave you for so long on multiple occasions. It's just because I have a life to live. Um, but you're always on the back of my mind and I'll never ever stop making ASMR videos forever, okay? Um, but if I do take long breaks here and there, just please understand that, you know, I'm just living my life and I've got other stuff going on. Nothing bad or anything. I just have a uni degree to finish. I've got a social life and other stuff to do. Also, I'm pretty lazy as well. So, sorry about that. But anyways, I'm sick at the moment, so I'll save a roleplay ASMR video for later. But right now, I just wanted to show you my Goosebumps book collection. Back when I was a kid, I used to collect Goosebumps books. Um, I loved the covers. It's the covers that got me. I absolutely love them. Um, but then I had to give them all away. Um, so... You know, I, ha I no longer had my Goosebumps books, but only recently, this year, I have decided, you know what, I'll just buy them again. And I know they're very expensive, but, you know, I managed to find a huge bulk of Goosebumps books for a reasonable price. So I managed to get a huge bulk of the originals, and then I also bought uh, a few other Goosebumps books here and there as well. So now I have this collection, so I'm going to show you. So, let's start with the originals. Welcome to Dead House, the classic first Goosebumps book. Now I'm holding the phone with one hand and then holding these books with the other hand, so unfortunately, unless I do this and tap, I can't really be tapping the book while I'm holding. So anytime I go to tap a book, I'll have to place it on the ground and just do a little tap, okay? So yeah, welcome to Dead House. Stay out of the basement. I love the hand here. It's really cool. Monster Blood. By the way, it's raining outside, so you may hear some rain. I figured it'd be the perfect time to make this video when it's raining. Relaxing. Say cheese and die. Comment down below if you used to enjoy Goosebumps books when you were growing up. And comment down below if you have um, a Goosebumps book collection. And if you do, what is your favourite Goosebumps book? I actually haven't read any of these yet. So I'm going to do a huge binge of reading them, hopefully. The only one I have read is the first one, Welcome to Dead House. The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Let's get invisible. Night of the Living Dummy. Classic Slappy, an icon of Goosebumps books. I always preferred the classic art covers of the originals. I'm not a huge fan of the new covers for the classic stories. The Girl Who Cried Monster. 
I also grew up um, watching the TV series. Um, I wasn't, I'm not old enough to have grown up in the 90s when it was first out, but I do remember having DVDs of Goosebumps, of the Goosebumps TV series, and I used to love watching them. Welcome to Camp Nightmare. And what I love about these books as well is they all have different colours for each book. The Ghost Next Door. I'll try and flip some pages as well. Let's get some page sound ASMR. The Haunted Mask. The TV episode for this story is the greatest Goosebumps TV episode of all time, without question. An absolute classic. Be careful what you wish for. spines look like this is what come on focus there we go and this is what the spines look like as well piano lessons can be murder oh i love the art for this one the Werewolf of Fever Swamp. Oh, this is really cool, this cover. And I love how the Goosebumps word, you know, you can feel it and it's all bumpy. Very nice. You Can't Scare Me. One day at Horrorland. I loved the TV episode for this one as well. Why I'm Afraid of Bees. Sequel to Monster Blood, Monster Blood 2. Come on, focus, man. Focus. There we go. And Deep Trouble. I think this episode um, on the TV series might be my favourite. I like the um, the concept of giant creatures and the ocean. On to the next pile. The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. really like this cover. Go eat worms. Ghost Beach. Return of the Mummy. And the spines look like this. So they changed the... 
um, font of goosebumps on the spines um, in this pile when they first came out it used to look like this and now they're the, the real goosebumps font which is really cool turn of the mind phantom of the auditorium And what I like as well is the little, um, the little quotes or the little, um, the little sayings on each of the books. He's out to stop the show for good. Ooh. Very 90s-esque um, horror. Very cheesy. Attack of the Mutant. And then these as well. These are different. Read at your own risk. Oh, he's no superhero. He's a supervillain. Oh. My hairiest adventure. <laughs> he's having a really, really bad hair day. Oh. Very funny humor. Top comedy. A Night in Terror Tower. I really, really like the TV episode for this story. I think this one might actually be my favourite story. Um, it's hard to choose. No, it's this one. The Cuckoo Clock of Doom. This TV episode. There's so many TV episodes that are really good. Um, they really hit the nail on the head with... Um, the Goosebumps adaptation, ad adaptions, adaptations from book to film. It's really solid. Cougar Clock of Doom, an absolute classic Goosebumps TV episode. Monster Blood 3. It came from beneath the sink. Night of the Living Dummy 2. The Barking Ghost. The Horror at Camp Jelly Jam. I think with, um... Goosebumps, you can, I mean, yes, they're for kids and all, but you can really enjoy them even as an adult, especially if you grew up, grew up with these. Um, yeah, you know, I'm, what, 22 years old and, you know, hey, I've got Goosebumps book collection that I'm planning to read. So, you know, you can really enjoy Goosebumps even as an adult and don't feel like, you know, they're just for kids. Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes. A Shocker on Shock Street. The Haunted Mask 2. Headless Ghost. The Abominable Snowman of Pasadena. How I Got My Shrunken Head. I really like the green on this one. Really cool. Knights of the Living Dummy 3.
And here's my little record player. I'll show you my vinyl collection in a different video and my Bluetooth speaker as well. All right, moving on. Bad hair day. Egg monsters from Mars. The beast from the east. I like the artwork on this one. I like the colours. Say cheese and die again. Ghost Camp. How to Kill a Monster. Legend of the Lost Legend. Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. I like this artwork. This one's really cool. Also, comment down below. Have you ever... Did you grow up with Halloween? Because here in Australia, Halloween isn't as big as, um, you know, Halloween in America or in other countries as well. Um, it is, you know, catching up. You know, there's a lot more Halloween stuff here in Australia these days, but when I was growing up, it wasn't really a thing. Vampire breath. <laughs> He's a dentist nightmare. That's funny. Calling all creeps. I like this artwork. I like the little lizard people. Beware the snowman. How I Learned to Fly. This was actually the first um, Goosebumps book that I ever saw. That's how I got introduced to Goosebumps. I used to have a friend and we were playing this weird game of guess the book or something where we would show it really close up to our face and we have to guess. And I didn't know about Goosebumps and so I didn't know what this was and then they said, oh, it's Goosebumps. And I was like, whoa, so that's how I got into Goosebumps. Chicken, chicken. <laughs> it's a finger licking nightmare. That's funny. It's like playing on the KFC motto. Finger licking good. Don't go to sleep. The blob that ate everyone. The Curse of Camp Cold Lake. This this one is a really creepy cover. Um, it's really cool. Probably one of the, if not the creepiest Goosebumps book cover, in my opinion. My Best Friend is Invisible. Deep Trouble 2. The Haunted School.
werewolf skin. Apparently this Goosebumps book out of all the originals is the rarest. I live in your basement. And the final original Goosebumps book, Monster Blood 4. All right, and now this last pile here is the Give Yourself Goosebumps. I love these because you get to choose your own adventure. It's a lot more interactive. Yeah, I used to love these as a kid. So let's begin. And I like how the cover, each cover has a little shiny, um, the different styles of the shiny art. It's really cool. So, Escape from the Carnival of Horrors. And these are the spines as well, if we can focus, there we go. So pretty much similar to the originals, except it says, give yourself. Tick-tock, you're dead. Trapped in Batwing Hall. The Deadly Experiments of Dr. Eek. Night in Werewolf Woods. I like the red on this one. Beware of the purple peanut butter. <laughs> this is really cheesy. That that pretty much sums up 90s horror. Just very cheesy. Slapstick. Under the Magician's Spell. The Curse of the Creeping Coffin. The Knight in Screaming Armour. Diary of a Mad Mummy. Deep in the Jungle of Doom. Welcome to the Wicked Wax Museum. Scream of the Evil Genie. The Creepy Creations of Professor Shock. Please don't feed the vampire. Secret Agent Grandma. Little Comic Shop of Horrors.
attack of the beastly babysitter. This is the last Give Yourself Goosebumps book that I have. And now um, there's a couple of extras. So I have got Tales to Give You Goosebumps Special Edition 1. I like this cover. It's really cool. Reader beware, you're in for 10 scares. Ooh. <laughs> so this is like 10 little short stories. In the one book and there's another one more tales to give you goosebumps special edition two another 10 spooky stories and i like the originals the goosebumps font here has little bumps then i've got more and more tales to give you goosebumps uh, special edition five, so I'm missing um two. In, I meant three and four. And then here I've got the triple header goosebumps. R. L. Stein, three shocking tales of horror uh, of terror, book one. And here you've got this little um cool, um I think it's holo holographic. Yeah, the thing where if you turn it you can see the art it's really cool it's three little monsters reading a book yeah i think it's three stories yeah three stories and finally finishing off this collection is this uh, goosebumps three ghoulish graphics tales so it's like a terror trips so it's like three comics so it's got one day of horror land deep trouble and a shocker on shock street uh so it's um comics um of original stories and it's a hard cover too show you like an example if I can without dropping it but yeah so it's stuff like this like little pictures and that is my goosebumps book collection I hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful rest of your day or night take care